Hi everybody! Happy October! So today we are going to be doing um, for this draw along a haunted house and I'm going to be doing the drawing in a black sharpie and you can do that as well or you can use a black pencil whatever you can whatever you want to use is fine. Um, you'll need your sketchbook or bond paper you'll need um, either a sharpie or a black pencil you'll need um, crayons or pencils or colored markers and you'll also need um, something round like a round plastic cup or something that's about this round so we're going to be drawing a moon behind the haunted house so um, let's get started okay everybody we're going to get started we are going to be drawing the haunted house um, with a moon in the background. And as I mentioned earlier, you don't have to do the moon. You could do um, a sun or you could just completely um, have a blank sky in the back. Um, or you could have a witch flying through the sky too. That would look kind of cool. Anyway, I'm going to be using bond paper. You can use bond paper or your sketchbook. I'm going to be doing the drawing in a sharpie and you can use a sharpie or a black marker or a dark pencil. And then I'm using this cup um, just as a template to draw a round circle um, for the moon. I'm going to set that aside right now. We're going to start by drawing the ground that the house is sitting on. So I want you to come down to the bottom of your paper and draw the horizontal line that the house will be sitting on. It can either be a straight line or it can be kind of a um, sort of a random line like I'm doing, like this. Okay, and this is where the house is sitting on. So the first line of the house is going to be a curved line and just come up about four inches from the ground and just do a curved line like that and then on the other side of the house another curved line like that and then let's draw the roof line um, I'm gonna do gutters on the side and they're gonna be sort of kind of fun gutters that are sort of twirling like this and then come all the way over and this side I want to twirl up and then let's let's give this the house a side at the side of the house and so just follow that line do another curved line down so that's going to be the side of the house when you're looking straight onto the house you can also see the side now let's go ahead and put a roof on so I want my roof to sort of look like a witch's hat and I am going to go up and make the top of that witch's hat and then come all the way down to where you the line that you'd started for the um, side of the house. So don't end it here, come all the way over to there. All right? Okay. So now we've got our house and let's put a chimney on it. And your chimney could be a goofy, a goofy shape. I'm gonna kind of make mine sort of a goofy shape. I'm gonna kind of go like this, like it's kind of a scary looking chimney. And let's go ahead and put some windows in the house. I wanna do one window up in the attic. And I'm gonna have it with panes on it like that. And then down here, I want a door, and I'm gonna have a double door. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna have two doors that are together like that. You've probably seen doors like that and some doorknobs. And then I want a big arched window up at the top. And then of course, window panes. And then maybe two little windows next to that one so these would be maybe bedrooms upstairs or a big family room. And then let's put a round window up here with panes. And then maybe two long windows like that. And I'm just gonna give these two long windows just one long window pane. And then a window by the front door like that and then let's go ahead and put windows on the side too and do some curved lines 
so that it sort of looks like it's on the side. And let's just put three windows down the side of the house, like that. Okay, so the house is drawn now. Okay, and let's put a picket fence in. So what, what I think would be good to do is do some curved lines, just like that, and then put another line next to it so it looks like that's the side of the board. And then, since this is supposed to be a haunted house, let's make the boards all different shapes, going different directions. So, you know, so maybe it kind of looks like an old, an old fence, like that. And then let's do a couple over here. Maybe curve like that. And then maybe a really tall one over here. And then let's go ahead and do the horizontal boards and just draw two lines that come up to the up to the post, the fence post. So don't go over the fence post, go behind it. Like that. And then these, when we go to color, we can leave these white. We won't color these at all, and it'll just we'll be using the white of the paper as the color for the fence. So there's your fences drawn. Now this house since it's a haunted house, it might have haunted bushes. And so let's put some funny bushes behind this fence with faces on it. So first let's draw some fun shapes of what you guys think would be funny shapes for bushes. Maybe a little guy over here. These are some bushes. And then let's do one here. And then maybe a tall guy up here. And a little one here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and put faces on these bushes. Some big eyes and a cute little nose and maybe a goofy smile. And maybe this guy is not really sure about what's going on. He's going, what? And a little maybe a oval shaped nose and a big smile on that guy. And back here a little one, little eyes and a little nose and a little mouth. And then over here, we can do the same. Do eyes and a funny little nose and maybe a scary little mouth. And nose, and this is just fun. You know, there's obviously no, no faces in the bushes, but it's kind of fun just to pretend. Okay, so then I'm gonna use this cup to draw the moon. And this could also be a sun doesn't have to be a moon. And you also don't, you know, you, you could do anything up here you wanted. Okay. And then if you make a little where you were connecting them, if you make a little mistake, you can go ahead and play with that and turn your mistake into something fun. Kind of sketch you, sketch around and make a moon looking moon. And then since this is a nighttime on my picture, I'm going to put some stars in the sky and when I make stars I do a little upside down V and then two lines and then I turn those two lines into side V's and then I do a V and a V there's a star and let's put one over here Okay, and then how about some clouds? And do some swirly clouds, maybe one up here, maybe one that's going behind the moon. And let's put some stepping stones in front of the door for whoever's coming up to get trick or treat candy or for visiting. And maybe these could just be, you could do round ones or square stones or like mine, kind of funny looking shapes. So there you go. I think we're done. Okay, let me show you one that I drew. It's right here. <coughs> Excuse me, um, one that I colored. So I colored this with uh, markers and I used some shades of pink 
for the door, for the, excuse me, for the roof and the door. And then I colored the house sort of an olive green with some yellow. And I painted, I'm excuse me, I colored the inside of the windows um, yellow, like the, the moon. I painted the moon yellow and the stars yellow. And then I um, gave the bushes some color of green and pink and gray and colored the grass in front green. And when I, when I colored the sky, I started out with light blue and I started to get gradually darker. And you can do that really well with p pencils and crayons and markers, if you've got markers that have different colors. And then I added some more yellow. I colored some yellow in behind the moon so that it would look like the moon was glowing in the sky. And it was fun to color and I hope you guys um, have fun coloring it. Um, and like I said, you know, you could, um, instead of doing the moon, you could have a, a witch flying in the sky or a bat or a bunch of bats, or um, it could be daytime and it could be a sun up there, or you could do um, a crescent moon, which is like that. So you could do a crescent moon going, you know, in any direction. That might look kind of cute up there. But anyway, this is a fun thing to draw for this time of year with Halloween just around the corner. Okay, thank you. I hope you guys had fun. I, I had a lot of fun drawing it. And I'll see you guys again. Bye.